Whalers. And welcome to Whaler Word. Today is Thursday, April 11th, and you're here with Vicky Todorova and Maddie Lombardi. Guys, it's officially quarter four. Although it's the end of the year, be sure to stay on top of your grades and finish strong. Report cards will also be sent out tomorrow. Also, don't forget to schedule an appointment with your counselor ASAP for your schedule next year. As we all know, the solar eclipse happened on Monday. How cool was that? Even though Nantucket wasn't on the path of totality, the eclipse reached 87%. The last one occurred in 2017, and the next one, according to NASA, will be in 2044. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Please check out the GoFundMe and help Mr. Mongi get home to his family if you are able to. Tomorrow is the last day of Spirit Week, so make sure you wear your best Daffy Day outfit. Here's Cochran's weekly update. In other news... Tempus ad es floridum surgunt namque flores. Huh, that's right, everybody. It's Tempus ad es floridum week in room 009, and so if you've heard Mr. Cawthorne singing and dancing all week, <laughs> yes, you absolutely did. In Martinizzi news, Martinizzi have been flying off of the wrists of Bulgarians and our Bulgarian friends, and Baba Marta is smiling as those cherry trees are blooming. Thanks for the update, Mr. Cawthorne. Harrison Carpio has been busy documenting Birdo's tourney. It will hopefully be premiering May 3rd with more details to follow. Check out Harrison's trailer. Birdo, I'm really, I'm really, We're proud of I'm you. really proud of you. Yeah. Our best friend right um, here. The love for football is not the same as the love for a person. We're gonna win the whole thing. Once we catch a dub. Vamos a ganar todo. Bobby, Bobby. Yo. Keepers. You know, I think we're gonna struggle. I'm getting carried, that ass. You can't stop us! I believe we will wake up. The 5th Annual Litter Derby is happening on May 4th and 5th. Registration is open, so get your teams ready and sign up soon. This event will be accepted for community service hours, so go to NantucketLitterDerby.com to sign up. Also, keep an eye out for updates from the crew going on the Galapagos trip. On Saturday, April 13th, the last free teen skate event will be happening at the ice rink. It is from 7 to 7.50 p.m., and it is for everyone from grade 8 through grade 12. There will be free pizza and refreshments provided, so make sure you stop by. Here's Rodane with the Whaler Sports Roundup. Thanks, Vic. All right, guys, starting off with the weekend games, where all of our teams completely dominated all their opponents. The boys and girls tennis team who both gained a victory, the boys who played against Plymouth South, and the girls who got their first win of the 2024 season against Sturgis East. Girls lacrosse won both their games over the weekend, beating St. John Paul 14-3 and Boston Latin Academy 20-13. Finishing off, boys lacrosse also beat Boston Latin Academy. We now go to Alondra with the entertainment news. Attention writers, artists, and photographers. The Nantucket Youth Climate Committee is hosting another environmental art show. The themes are nature, ah! climate... <laughs> Themes are nature, climate change, and yeah. Earth Day. Submissions are due on April 25th, yeah. and the art show will take place yeah. at the Nantucket Hotel Ballroom on April 30th from 5 to 7. If you're interested, reach out to NYCC yeah. President Claire Martin. The Nantucket Book Festival competition is back, and the prompt is as follows. What problems in society most concern you and drive you to ask questions? Write an essay that explores a real-world problem, posing a question and imagining the possible future that could result if that problem was not addressed. Your entry should be approximately 650 words, and this is due May 10th at 11.59 p.m. There are prizes, and if you have any questions or would like to participate, please contact your English teachers. Back to you, Maddie and Vic. Thanks, Alondra. And now we go to Angel with the weather. All right, guys. Luckily, we've been getting warmer days and better weather this week. But this weekend, we'll be expecting rain on Friday with winds up to 30 miles per hour. And Saturday and Sunday is looking pretty windy, too, with winds also up to 26 miles per hour. But the good news is, going into next week, is expected to be sunny and up to 54 degrees. So at least we can look forward to that. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Angel. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Brandon Gomez-Melgar, 
and Dianara Sola Aguilar. Happy birthday. Good afternoon, Whalers. Here with Teddy, the MLPAC is still looking for volunteers, which you can stop by in the office and talk to Miss Delgado. Additionally, the food pantry is looking for donations. Anything, anything, anything is helpful. Uh, in other news, contact Laura Stewart at 508-228-4490. That's 508-228-4490 for more opportunities around the island to volunteer. Make sure you get on top of those hours. And here's Manny with the Whaler Word on the street. What is up, you guys? It's Manny back in the building. Today we got Whaler Word. Here we got some guests right here. Hey! What we got? Fernanda, Sadie, Allison. That's right. And today we got another great oh, yeah. episode of Whaler Word. So, make stay yourself tuned! Stay tuned! Where is your all time dream vacation? Um, probably Greece. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe the Maldives. The Bahamas, maybe. Or like Bali. Not Bali. Yeah, I guess Bali. Monaco! It was Hawaii, but nobody went to Hawaii. Probably a trip to Paris. I want to go to the Maldives. Nowhere. It's not over. My all-time dream vacation would be a train ride through yeah. Chile down to Patagonia. Me and Lena. Oh. Me and Lena? <laughs> yes, of course. With the trio. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you can't just ask me that while I'm mid-eating an apple. This better not come in. <laughs> Where is it? Anywhere on a beach with Manny. <laughs> hey! Oh. A man in action. Primito, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Tristan. Yes. This guy is so smart. I'm smart. IQ 2000. 2000. I don't know what He's that means, bro. <laughs> 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 Que es muy bruto y se la quiere de inteligente. No. Mira, yo no quiero, de la que los héroes siempre van a hablar, ¿sabes? Tú eres un loco con la polla. What's the word of the today? I'm following you. Word of the day. Word of the day. Tiny objects. Tiny objects. What's up, Bruno? Is this for Will Award? Yeah, this is for Will Award. Hey, Manny. Hey, YouTube. Why are you late? I'm tired. Yes. Yo, what's up, baby? How you doing? Today I'm going to geometry class to see Mr. Lucas. Yeah, are you? Are you? <laughs> you going to English right now? Yeah. Are you passing English right now? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I hope so. What's up? Go to your passport. Take your camera. This word. Nothing changes if nothing changes. That was my quote. That's cool. That's cool. Hi with our word, it's Gabby with another fashion vlog. So here's today's quick fit check. Today's top is from Free People with this cute little back. And these pants are from American Eagle and I have my white tennis shoes on. And yep, that's my fit for today. So let's see what other people have in store for us. Let's go. So fit. Yeah, you go first. You go okay, first. okay. Jordan. Easy slides, easy slides. Nike black socks, polo PJs, polo T, gold chain, the double gold chain. Wow. So mine are Yeezys. Um, I think Adidas socks, Vans pants. Shut up. Vans pants. Um, Stubby's hoodie, and this bracelet from Nepal, and that's about it. Yo, come All right. on. Sean. Sun shows hoodie. Um, brown cargo pants. Black Uggs, no. Calm. Wow. What do you got? Calm. Okay. Say goodbye, Willer Word. All right. Goodbye, Willer Word. Take good care. Good. Goodbye. The Egan Maritime Institute is offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go on a five-day, four-night sailing trip around New England aboard the tall ship Lynx. If you're interested, please reach out to Kara Falk at kfalk at eganmaritime.org. As always, tutors from National Honor Society are still available, so ask Ms. Bartlett for more information. Today, there will be a pep rally at 1.35 to 2.20 in the NHS gym. Advisories will be called down by grade level. 
Get excited for senior sports recognition and STEM versus students volleyball game. Stay tuned for another episode next week and make sure to follow us on Instagram at whaler underscore word for more behind the scenes content and further updates. Thanks for tuning in to Whaler Word. We look forward to providing you with weekly updates and news. Until next time, remember, stay informed, stay inspired, and most importantly, stay, stay connected, connected, Whalers. Welcome to Whaler Word. Today is... Wow. It's April. It's April. It's freaking April, man. Officially quarter four. That went bad. <laughs> what? What am I supposed to do? Go. I can't. I sound like a cornball. Well, you don't have to say it like that. Went by fast. Home stretch, people. Whatever. <laughs> what, Rodin? Three. I don't care. I do because we're running out of time. Okay. Today, guys, we have Super Chef Teddy in the building. Say, what does Meryl Cat say? What's Meryl Cat say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we cooked. We did.